Hey everybody, this is Ryan at Power Code, and I just want to take this opportunity to give you a little bit of insight into a couple of features that are upcoming, they're almost ready for release. And these are integrations that belong to our DHP Option 66 auto provisioning tool platform. So let's give you a little bit of history on that to begin with. So Option 66 is a feature set in Power Code where you create a configuration template, and then when you plug in that device, it becomes auto provisioned using the information in the template. So we started that with the Cambium 450 Zero Touch tool that we built last year, and now we're looking to add more devices to that list. So the upcoming releases are for the CN Pilot routers and ReadyNet routers. So let's take a look at where we can find those in Power Code. If we go into the Items tab to the third party info, we can look at our device configuration files. And in this list, you can see I have a couple of ReadyNet templates, I have a CM Pilot template, and I also have one of those Cambium 450 templates. Now, I want to edit one of the ReadyNet templates, and I'm going to use my alternate template that I've built here. I have three tabs to look at, some general login information and provisioning settings, network info, and the customer's wireless network. Now, the most important item on this general tab is going to be the provisioning settings because we want to make sure that the customer's router is going to check power code for any changes to the template. We also want to know how often is it going to do that check. So we can set the interval in the periodic resyncing field and currently it's set to 60 minutes. So if you make a change sometime within 60 minutes, the device is going to check power code, grab the new info, reboot and apply. Network's pretty basic, just making sure that their internet works using this router. And wireless I particularly like because the question that always gets asked is, what is my Wi-Fi password? And if you're using a managed router, you want to be able to answer that question quickly. So it's included in the template and you can also generate a new password and apply it on their template to change it for them specifically. But we'll get into that in a moment. So let's go to a customer account and we'll see how this is applied to a specific individual customer. All right, so now that we're on Derek Johnson's account, we can see that he has a radio in his equipment section and we need to add that ReadyNet router. So we're gonna go through the equipment adding process just like normal. However, we're going to add a router device category with a ReadyNet type. And then as soon as we choose that ReadyNet type, you'll see that the configuration template field automatically became visible as a result. So we'll choose the alternate template because that's the one we were looking at and then I'll just go ahead and fill out a couple bits of the information here. There's my ReadyNet MAC address, I'm going to choose my subnet, and then I'll go ahead and save the equipment. Now that it's saved, you can see that there's actually a new tab here that's labeled ReadyNet, and this is going to show us all the fields and all the values from the configuration template we were viewing just a minute ago. So the added bonus here is that you can come into an individual customer's router and you can make specific changes just to their template. And again, this is going to be applied based on the periodic resyncing value. So in this case, if we made a change, the customer would either need to be able to reboot their router immediately, or they'd have to wait for that next 60 minute period to expire. Then the changes are applied, the device reboots, and there you go. So the whole point of these Option 66 integrations is to save you time to save your text time while they're out in the field doing installs, doing service calls, and overall it's just to make your life easier. So as I said at the beginning, these features are almost ready for release. We're doing our final round of testing and then we are going to include them in a future update and we really look forward to adding these to our lineup. Have a great day everybody.